So if you're sitting for any of the exams from any of the organizations, any of the implant organizations, there's always a test question that says, at what temperature does bone necrose? And the answer is 47 degrees centigrade. But that's not the whole answer. There's a second part that's never asked, and that is 47 degrees for a minute. You have to heat the bone up to 47 degrees, and then you have to hold it there for a minute in order for that bone to necrose. That's a long time, guys. You really would have to be special in a negative way in order to heat the bone up that much, okay? You'd really have to be doing something terribly wrong, even if you're freehanding it. And you go, well, what do you mean even if you're freehanding it? Well, you're more likely to heat up the bone freehanding than you are when you do a guide. And people are like, what? What do you mean? Well, here's the problem. If you freehand implants, and if, if anyone's ever freehanded an implant, once you get a purchase point with your drill, you do not give up that purchase point. Once you get the tip on target of your drill, you drill to depth. Okay, you don't go, you don't do a pumping action because when you pump, when freehand, if you pump, you come right out of the hole and you don't know where the hole is. You got to try to find the hole again. So nobody does that. So your drill times are significantly longer when you freehand than when you use guided. People said, you know, right now, somebody's having a heart attack right now on the other side of this camera, right? You're going, what are you talking about? When you do guided surgery, your drill times are about 1.5 seconds per drill. So you go in and you come out. That's 0.75 seconds going in and 0.75 seconds coming out. It's less than a second going in. It's extremely fast and very efficient. 